Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering multiple VPN servers for a Nord account in a DDWRT router. There's many reasons really why you'd want to do this with Nord. Nord guarantees services to BBC iPlayer and Netflix etc. On a weekly or daily basis, I'm unsure to be honest with you, IPs for NordVPN servers keep getting blacklisted by, let's, let's just say BBC iPlayer as an example. So you may be connected to a single server that has got multiple IPs. Now, the, the only reason BBC iPlayer and all these companies know that a VPN is being used is by the amount of connections through that, through that one server's IP connecting to their service. So they may come along and block, they may do it, uh, may not may not do it for a week, a month, so I don't know, exactly know how, how, how often these companies actually bar the uh, blacklist the IPs. Now, you'll notice most probably that NordVPN is mostly the reason why you've got to this video in the first place. Now that NordVPN changed the IPs to keep these services going on these servers. Now on occasions they knock the servers off. I'm not going into the logistics of why because I don't know myself, I'll be honest with you, but they obviously they aren't NordVPN servers, they're using other people's servers and they pay for the service. Um so let's just let's just accept that these these servers go off from time to time without the, the logistics of why. Now what we do when we send a router out nowadays, we, we program up between fifteen and twenty servers for if you have a UK for example, we'd put sort of 15 to 20 UK servers into the additional config. So if one goes off after 10 seconds, it, it, it doesn't connect to that server, it goes to the next one automatically. It actually does it randomly, it doesn't actually go to the next one until it finds a connect, until it finds obviously a server to connect to, which is fine if you just want to stay in, in one particular country. However, I can't see that this is going to work if you want to use multiple countries. So just be aware of that guys before we jump in. Now, in the link in the description below, I'm going to leave a Notepad++ uh, plus plus file that you can amend yourself, and I'll show you how to do it during the video, and where to put it, and how to check if you've got a multiple server set up in the first place. So I'm going to try and be as quick as possible without waffling on, but obviously there's a few little bits I've got to get through. So please bear with me if you think it's dragging on a little bit. Right, without further ado, because I don't want to waste your time, I'm going to log into the router, if you had it from us, it's going to be 192.168.12.1. If I can type correctly, just give me one second. And click enter. Obviously, you need to enter your IP for your router and also your username and password. So you're going to click on any of the tabs across the top. Bear in mind, username and password, you're going to know that. I'm not going to get into that with this video. So across the top, you're going to click services tab. And then you're going to click VPN tab. If you come down to the section of uh, OpenVPN client, um, you're going to see the server IP, it's on there, which looks quite normal. But then if you scroll down into the additional config section, you'll see it's, it's a little bit different than normal. And there's quite a few IPs, a uh, few um, servers in there. Now, at the bottom here, I've got opened up at the moment, is a list of servers. Right, this is the, the sort of bit that's not complicated, but you need to pay attention, basically. If you want to run multiple servers, so as I say, if one drops off, it'll go to the next, go to the next, go to the next. Uh, you need to just copy this and then paste that into your additional config settings. But before you do that, this list may be out of date by the time you, you've got it. So just without sort of complicating matters, and why I'm also here, let me just, do, just say this to you. Obviously, you copy all of that, you paste it into additional config file, and also there's one that's remmed out, hashed out. And that basically doesn't read that, but that's the one that goes in the, um, literally, if you'll see 2187, and you'll see that's actually up here in this section here, 2187. So whichever server you're putting into the top here, okay, needs to be remmed out, hashed out, okay? So... As I say, this list, by the time you open this, is most probably going to be out of date. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how, how to, to amend this. So, I'm going to go back to the internet. Now, we've got two links in the description. One is going to be the recommended server list, which isn't really going to be any use for you in this circumstance. So, you want to really use this one, which is the full list of OpenVPN servers. So, if you want the UK, or obviously whichever country, you need to slide down to where you are. Now, there's a lot of them, so I know that the UK is about three quarters of the way down, as you can see it's there. 
So you haven't got to keep opening all these now. All you need to do is keep up to date with these. Just basically, you can just copy as many of these as you want. Okay, so let's just copy. Let's see what the latest ones are before it goes to. Oh, they're starting back on the low numbers again now. Look. Okay, so at the moment that's the last one. So just for argument's sake, it's just going to copy that. I may as well amend the list while we're at it, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to change that one there. Now, just notice where I've changed it. You leave the remote section in, and all you're doing is changing the actual number, like the the location, and obviously the domain. So paste that. So now you're going to see that's into there. Now, at the moment, this is just for our reference of what servers provided we're using that server. So take the notice of that. To be honest with you, that I don't. That's much really complicated matters. I shouldn't have done that. That's just for our reference. But all you do, that is, that's literally all you're going to do. So you're going to come across to here, and then obviously do that. And then we come back up. Well, we back to the list. Beg your pardon. And come back into here. Okay, paste that in, and do as many as you want. Okay. And as I say, take the notice that anything behind anything behind a hash is basically ignored by Linux. So. Once you've, once you've updated your list, you can put as many as you want in there. The more you put in there, the less likely it's going to go off over a period of time. So once you've sorted your list out, you're going to highlight the list. You're going to right click and click copy. You're going to come back to here, beg your pardon, uh, into the browser, back to here. And then down to the additional config. Highlight the whole lot. You can delete it to make sure everything's gone first. Make sure you press backward space and delete, and then just click paste to that. And then you're going to come down to the bottom and click apply settings. But just remember, the if you've changed this, the one that's hashed out, you must change that that num that there must go into the uh, copy that, and that must go into up here, the one that's remmed out. Now, there must be one that's remmed out as far as I'm aware. Okay. So once you've done that. You can just click apply settings. Now that basically means now it's got. Let's see if it's showing on here. This um, command here is basically saying if it doesn't connect in ten seconds to the server, well, which will be this one originally, and then if not, it'll randomly um, select any of them servers that's in this config. And as I say, that would it saves. We've had customers where NordVPN have had a server on up for about three weeks. They've set it up and it's all working well, and then all of a sudden, the kill uh, kill switch script stops any access to the uh, internet because obviously the VPN has stopped, and they need to keep changing the servers. This basically just gets around you having to do it so often. I I, I can't say how long it's going to last. I can't say that you know if you put twenty in, it's going to last you eight months. It could last you 18 months, it might last you two years. I haven't got a clue until you actually test it, guys. Please leave, leave the remarks in the um, notes below. And obviously, uh, if you want to write to us, just let us know how it's going on. Now, what I've also done included in this, if you ever want to go back to a single uh, line or a single server, at the bottom here, if you look, I'll put single server address config. All you have to do is, if you want to go back to a single server, just copy that and then go back to your... Um, additional config section and then all you have to do go to the top highlight it all click delete to make sure there's nothing in there and click paste and then now you're back to a single server so all you do then is just whatever server you want to go to if you want to change country for example then you would most probably go to your recommended server list click United States or Albania or wherever you want to be Estonia France for example just highlight that copy that back to your router and just paste it in there down to the bottom apply settings so without sort of waffling on and trying to make it more complicated than it is I'm trying to make it as simple for you to understand as possible so if you want a single address as it says there node single address maybe I should change that to server address so uh, Nord VPN single server address you're using this config and then if you want Nord multiple server oh, uh, list you're going to use this okay or obviously you edited it before you, you're going to put it in don't just use this list guys 
but just make sure when you've done it you've got remote if you ever change well you're obviously gonna have to change it make sure you've got the remote section at the beginning and the port now this will also work if you're using uh, TCP ports obviously you're just gonna have to change these ports here um, and you don't need this like I say all, all that's for is if you do a speed check or you go to watch my IP that'll tell you who the provider is uh, Hydra well I ain't gonna get into that but basically like I say it's up to you what you use I like Hydra as myself um, Zar, it, it seems to be one of the fastest ones available but again it, there isn't much difference between them to be honest with you so hopefully that's going to cover it I thought it was going to be a lot longer than this guys so I'm hoping that this will help you I'll leave a description in the description below I'm going to leave a link to the NordVPN uh, server lists as you've seen in the video I'm going to leave a link to the um, notepad here that you're seeing now so you can just amend this yourselves and just remember if you want to go back to a single single server you just copy that and paste that into your um, additional config if you want multiple you just literally copy that after you've amended these here and paste it into there just one thing I would note though guys if you're going to use this if you've had a router from us should I say you won't need to worry about this but if you haven't just make sure that in here you've got verify server is ticked okay because otherwise you should have another command in there but um, you, you don't need it if you've got that ticked above so i'm going to leave it there guys hopefully that's of some use to you and i'm pretty sure please leave some comments below um, if it's helped you out and if it has please subscribe to the channel please give us a thumbs up uh, and share the video to anybody that you think might need it thanks guys catch you on the next one